Engineered in Berkeley but distributed overseas, this little stove is working to improve the lives of women in developing regions such as Darfur. Potential Energy, the nonprofit organization behind this, started out as a project to help women in Darfur. The project to build this stove, which is called a Berkeley Darfur stove, started in response to the humanitarian disaster in Darfur when several hundred thousand people were killed and millions of women and children were driven into refugee camps. The women had to collect firewood outside the safety of the camps and when they left the camps to collect firewood they were systematically being subjected to sexual violence. Our effort was a band-aid in trying to reduce the need for these women to leave the safety of the camps so that they could do with less work and they would expose to less threat of sexual violence. But sexual violence and difficulty obtaining wood are not the only problems these women face. Continuous exposure to cooking fire pollution is also very harmful. We now know with reasonable confidence that four million people every year die prematurely from exposure and inhalation of smoke from cooking on wood and, and various kinds of biomass. This is usually the women who are the cooks and often it is their infants who are next to them who are also exposed to the same smoke in the poorly ventilated kitchen with a very smoky stove. By requiring less wood and reducing exposure to smoke, the Berkeley Darfur stove alleviates some of the issues at hand. The stoves are sent for free from Berkeley, then assembled and sold in Darfur, helping to aid the economy there. Dr. Gadgill's work is an example of how engineering and humanitarian efforts can come together and make a difference to those around the world. I like to think that it leaves the world a little better for what I'm doing here. Even if it is a little better, it's fine. It's better, not worse.